we start by replacing sine square theta with 1 minus cos square theta in the given equation. Therefore, it becomes a quadratic in cos theta, 4 times 1 minus cos square theta plus 2 times root 3 plus 1 times cos theta is equal to 4 plus root 3. 4 cancels out on both sides and this equation can be rearranged as 4 times cos square theta minus 2 times root 3 plus 1 times cos theta plus root 3 is equal to 0. Solving this quadratic, we get 2 times root 3 plus 1 plus minus the square of the coefficient of cos theta, which is 4 times root 3 plus 1 whole square minus 4 times the product of the coefficients of cos square theta and the constant divided by 2 times the coefficient of cos square theta, which is 4. After some simplification, this is equal to, in the numerator, root 3 plus 1 plus minus square root of 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 minus 4 root 3 divided by 4, which is equal to root 3 plus 1 plus minus square root of 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 4. And the term in the square root is equal to root 3 minus 1 whole square and therefore cos theta simplifies to root 3 plus 1 plus minus root 3 minus 1 divided by 4. This is equal to either root 3 plus 1 plus root 3 minus 1 divided by 4 or root 3 plus 1 minus of root 3 minus 1 divided by 4. In the first case, the 1 cancels in the numerator and in the second case, the root 3 cancels in the numerator. Therefore, the possible values of cos theta are root 3 upon 2 and half. Root 3 upon 2 is equal to cos of pi upon 6 and half is equal to cos of pi upon 3. Therefore, the general solution of theta is either 2 and pi plus minus pi upon 6 or 2 and pi plus minus pi upon 3.